We are a chosen generation. We have been called for to show his excellence. All I require for life, God has given me. All I know, and I know who I am. We are a chosen generation. We've been called for to show his excellence. All I require for life, God has given me. For I know who I am. Today, we're going to celebrate. We're going to celebrate who we are. We're going to celebrate royalty. We're going to celebrate Queen Elizabeth. We're going to celebrate life. Get into the Bible with me in 1 Peter. 1 Peter um, 4 and 9. For you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Father, I come before you this morning, this afternoon, just thanking you that God, because we know who we are. I'm so glad to know that Father here in Cleveland, Tennessee, the land where the spirit is moving. I'm so happy that God, there are people in our community. You have a sign to pray because their Father, we are the community that God, Jerusalem makers, that you set aside their God to proclaim to the world your declaration. I come in the name of Jesus. I come with the power of God to let the world know that we as Christians need to know who we are, where we are going, where we are from, and what God say about us. So I thank you, Lord, for our community. I thank you for all that go the Jones family, the environment, our mayors, our doctors, our lawyers, our priests, our, 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 our pastors, our bishops. I thank you for our community. I thank you for all those that God, Jesus, who minister as prayer warriors, intercessors, that God. I pray that God for our nations. I pray that God for our world. I pray for England. I pray that God for Queen Elizabeth. I pray that God for all the royalties. I pray that God, because I realize that God, that prayer makes a difference. I pray for our continents, India, Africa, North America, South America, Australia, Asia. I pray that God, because we need you. We need you, that God, we need each other. So help us to love, respect, and honor each other. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. I'm excited, you guys. You can tell by my colors and the way I'm dressed, because I realize that God, that I know who I am. And I want you to know who you are. I want you to get your Bible. I'm going to show you some things to say. And I pray for my guests. I have a guest coming in the next half an hour. So that means I only have half an hour to tell you this story of what God gave me to give to you. I want you to get the start back in First Peter. Back in First Peter. I want you to understand that God has given us some things and we need to know. Royalty, purple is royalty and everything we need to get our mind, our heart. First Peter 2. And, and nine, but I want to go to First Peter four, and and let me go first. First Peter four, First Peter two and four. Go straight up here. I want to show you some things God has shown me because, like you know, the Queen Elizabeth. You see it online. You celebrating with her. I'm from the Bahamas, and we became independent under that. So I have British in me. I have British in my DNA. I do, and I'm gonna show you that. And I have British. That God. All through my family in the Bahamas because we became independent. True. Um. 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 um um, Queen Elizabeth, okay, and Prince Charles, back then, 50 years ago next year, we'll be free from independence. We're still underneath them because we are British, okay? We are British. Okay, get in the Bible. Um, I'm going to be jumping around and showing you the compare. I'm going to show you some things in the Bible. We are already chosen by God, even if you haven't, even if you can't see where you were chosen in true man. Because we want uh, uh, the favor of God and of man. Some of us don't realize we are favored from our um, um, generation. You need to go back. Get your gloves, ladies. Get your gloves and your bags and your chain. Get your coffee or your tea. You know, we drink tea a lot all around in um, England. Get your tea for a few minutes. Get your bag and your purse. Get ready for the morning. Celebrate. You in the Bahamas in the Caribbean, you know you were underneath the, the all of us could say something about England. All of us can say it has helped us a lot. Okay. 
It says here, the living stone and the chosen people, the chosen people, as you come, as you come to him, this is 1 Peter 2 and 4, the living stone reject by humans have been chosen by God and precious to him. You also, like living stones, are being built into a spiritual house to be holy priesthood, offering spiritual sacrifice acceptable to God through Christ Jesus. It's in the scripture. Look what the scriptures say. Now let's go down to verse um I'm go down to verse um um um, um nine again. Okay. If you disobey God, let me go in 8B. If they, they stumble because they disobey the message, which is also what will destined for us. You need to understand. You have to be obedient to God and what God has to say to you. Welcome again, everybody. This is your chaplain, Norma Ferguson Hill. You all have to forgive me sometimes because, man, I'm excited. I just go on and open my mouth and pray and just get. But I want to know I welcome you to the station today. I appreciate you tuning in. 99.9, .9, the World Wide Web, wherever you may be, I love you, but God love you most. Because I want to show you how you, uh, a royal priest, or peculiar people, get into the word. Okay? 9 said, but you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, and a holy nation. God's special. You see that? Look in your Bible. God's special possession that you may declare the praises of him who call you out of darkness into his marvelous light? And if you don't know Jesus as your personal savior, you can be a part of this light. So I'm coming to you in a little bit. So just hold on so you can repeat the sinner's prayer. Because that's the purpose I want you to know. You too could be in this royal priesthood. See me get on my purple and my blue. I excited because I know who I am. It says here in this song, for I know who God say I am. And I want you to know that too. What he says I am, where he says I'm at. I know who I am. I know who God say I am. Do you know? Okay. What he says I am. Okay. Do you know that? The song. I know who I am. Okay. It's the lyrics. Okay. It's telling us right now what stench lyrics says. Listen. Where he says I'm at. I know who I am. Where he says I'm at. I'm waking in power. I'm waking in miracles. I live in a favor. For I know who I am. Okay, you want favored man, but you got to get favored God first. Then you get favored man, because I'm telling you, I'm working in his power. I'm working in miracles. I live a life of favor, for I know who I am. Children of God, whoever listens to the sound of my voice, get into the word of God so you can know who you are. Your identity in Christ is very significant. So you can understand God has his hands upon you. Get your hat. Get your hat. You all see the festival. Some of you have been watching it with um, 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 Prince Harry and, and, and William and all of them. You see the young people. Get your hat. You are part of that language too if you can know. I, I, I noticed a few years ago my family um, line going down in your generation. You got to know this. So you could understand who you are. Okay? You know, I'm, I'm like most of you know my maiden name is Ferguson. Okay, Ferguson, I, we did some research in our family. And we noticed years ago, but we, when you get it on paper, and then you Google up some stuff, and many of you, you search in your generation, find out who you are. Find out who you are, because our family has Irish and Scottish in it. Okay? And it's going way back to several centuries, way, way back. Because Ferguson's come from surname Mac Fergus, which means sons of Fergus. Okay, it's a great antiquity. Okay, and our original ancestor spelling words, they have many of it. Fergus, um, Farquharson, Fergus, Ferguson, Fergus, all of that, all that related. Fergus was the first absolutely king of Scotland of the Malinesian, Malinesian or um, um, heritage. Race, that's a race. It go back. And, 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 and I'm here to let you know, you can Google up and find out yourself. You know, I was watching Queen Elizabeth and watching all this festival and everything. And the Spirit of the Lord said, let them know who you are. And let them know they need to know who they are. And that's you. God said you need to know who you are. Google up. You know, I don't talk much about being related to kings. King, 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 king. Robert um, um, Ferguson and all these language line going down from generation to generation. But when God speak, 
He is speaking to let you too. You may be related to some kings, Queen Elizabeth, Lainage, and all that down. But when we look fully down, we are royalty in God. All of us, I'm going to show you in a little bit how we all, you know, Jesus, when they go down, how he begot this and begot that and begot and Jesus begot, he begot and begot. We begot, we begot kings and queens. Come on. I don't have a whole hour to tell you all of this, but you need to Google up and find out who you are in your blood and your DNA and what you connected to and go and claim it. One day I'm going to England. Yes, I am. You got to claim who you are and find out where your family and your ancestors are from. Yes, it's centuries ago, but you have to know. You have to know it. Our original ancestor spelling, were, there were many variations of it. Okay, they believe they have descended from Fergus, of Dante, Tede, some of these, you're like, excuse me, because I can't, y'all know, my pronunciation sometimes is off, and forgive me, just forgive me, I'm going to get that right one day, God forgive me, he knows, um, okay, and, and Prince of Galloway, who's married to daughter of Henry I, okay, of England, and all his descendants of the anc an ancestors, Scottish history, okay, Ancient history, Scottish English history. Okay, I want you to know. I want you to know, as Queen Elizabeth, she celebrates 70 years in power. 70 years, and I, I was 13 years old when she came to the Bahamas when we became free. I was right there waving my hands. All the school children out there, it meant a lot to us as Bahamians, and I hear for all of us Bahamians. You could talk about your country when she came. But we were proud to see her because she was our queen. She is our queen. But what I'm saying, we have a prime minister now. Now bear with me. She's still our queen. But I'm here to let you know that we wave hands and she had her gloves on. And we learned how to wear gloves and hats. And our family who are fashion designers, we have fashion designers. We have fashion designers in our family so how to sew the right dresses, wear the right hat and the jewelry and wave our hands. I put on our jewelry and our necklace. Come on, family. Come on, get your gloves and your bike. Let's be, if you're royalty, show it. Show it. Come on. Show it. And I'm here to let you know that, that, that um, many things. Let me, let me finish in here because I know I'm confusing some of you. Okay. This is what it says here. The Ferguson name is of Gala. Originally found in both Scottish and Ireland, okay, Scottish and Ireland, okay, and we are the son of Fergus, okay, the old Gallic name was Fergus, F-E-A-R-Gus, compressed of the elements of fair, which is man, and Gus, what is Virgo, okay, the force, it was the name for the early Irish medical figure, and an early king of Scots, okay? Fairless, you know? And, and if I could say this, I, I don't, I don't, I hardly know any Ferguson men who are not fearless, okay? And my dad is one. He fed on, I mean, he was a person, he was, he would go in the fire and, and, and jump in the fire. He was not fearful of anything. So I could talk a lot about my family, but I'm here to let you know, you need to find out some things about your family. This is why I'm talking about this. This is why God told me, he said, you need to help other people to find out who they are. Tell them where they hat, where they crown. I have a class I teach, little princess. And all of them have a princess name. You know, they have little names. They call little Jasmine and all these names. They have their name and, and, and whatever. And, and they wear crown. I give them crown to let them know they're princesses. And we are the queen. We need to know. We need to speak it. Royalty, come on now. I know who I am. Okay? I am who God say I am. Where he says I'm at, I know who I am. I know who God says I am. What he says I am, where he says I'm at. Do you know that? Do you know where you are in life? Do you have your vision and your goal? What's going on? Let me go to the Bible a little bit here and get some of these scriptures, what I have down here. Go to um where I wrote this now. I have it in here. Uh, um, what God says, it says here in, in, in Deuteronomy, for thou art holy people unto the Lord, thy God. And the Lord hath chosen thee to be peculiar. You know what peculiar mean? Treasure. Go and Deuteronomy 14 and 2. Peculiar people unto himself. 
above all nations that are unto, okay? Upon the Lord, upon the earth, we need to know who we are. Get into the scripture, study the scripture. As I was studying this week, I saw so much things and just, boom, immolation, illumination, boom, light turning on, light turning on. Normal, you need to let people know. You see, sometimes they don't understand you. But you'll understand me more coming to these, these centuries, these, these years coming. Because I'm going to let you know that I know who I am. And I know what God said I am. And I live in a favor of God. Double favor as a matter of fact. For I know who I am. I'm working in power. I'm working in miracles. And I'm working in healing. I'm working for the Lord. And I want you to get that same power and know. And know what God says you are. Go to Proverbs. Go to, go to Proverbs. Um. Um, let me see. I have Isaiah 62. I have some stuff here. Isaiah 62 and 1. Go there first. For Zion's sake, I will not keep silent. I can keep silent. For Jerusalem's sake, I will not remain quiet. Okay, I ain't going to remain quiet. Tell, uh, tell her vindic vindication shines out like the dawn. Her salvation like a blazing touch. The nation will see me. Vindication, all things go glory. Because I want to shine for Jesus. I want to be a light. Let the world know I know who I am, and I'm going to live who God said I am. Living in victory, living in power. Okay, go down to verse 4, 62 and uh, verse 3. You will be crowned of splendor in the Lord's hands. A royal, look at it, a royal diadem in the hands of your God. Come on, no longer will they call you this, uh, uh, this, 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 no longer will they desert you, okay, or your name or your desolation. For you will be called. Okay? And your land, Beulah land, for the Lord will take delight in you, and your land will be married. As go on. You all study that part on your own. Study that. Let's go to the next chapter, because like I said, I don't have a lot of time right now. But I'm having a guess on this. Isaiah, that's what was Isaiah 62. Okay, go to Luke 1 and 33. Jesus just few the scriptures God dropped in my spirit to let you know. As the queen celebrate her festival, we all queens within our own right. We all princesses. And we got to know it. It's in the scripture. And I'm going to show you. Get into the scripture. I have about 15 more minutes and I need to bring someone to Christ. I need to bring you to Jesus so you can get a part of this. You can be involved in what God says we are. Okay, let me go to Proverbs first. Proverbs 31 and 10. 31 and 10. Oh, Lord, help me, Lord Jesus. Proverbs 31 and 10. That's 31 and 10. Proverbs 31 and 10. Okay, okay. It's talking about the wife of a noble character. Okay? You sometimes, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Like you got to know what you're getting into. Know who you marry. Know what you marry and where you're getting into. Because this is the wife of a noble character. Okay? I thank God I have him, a husband of nobility. Okay? It says a wife of noble character. Who can find? She's worth far more than rubies. Her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. She bring him good, not harm. All days of her life, she select wool and flax and works with eager hands. She is like the merchant ships, okay? Bringing her food from far, she gets, listen to this, up while it is still dark. She provides food for her family and portions for her fe female servants. She considers a field and buys it. And she uh, earnings, she's planting in the vineyard, gardening, doing flowers. And then she sets up a work. Vigorously, her arms are strong and she takes tasks. She sees, I mean, you have to get yourself and see what you're doing for your household. Uh, this is what the Bible says, but you all understand what he's saying. She opens her arms to the poor. She helps, she gives. Okay? When the snow comes, she, she, she stops food for the winter. Take care of household. Taking care of husband and children. Giving to the poor. Helping the neighbors. Go on, go on down. See, so she makes covering for her bed. She is clothed in fine linen. Her husband is respected at the city gates. When he takes his seat among the elders and the limb, she makes linen garments and sells them. She supplies merchants, her clothes are straight. She has dignity, she has character, she laughs, she has fun, and she's faithful, instructed in her tongue. And all this going, watch her. Go read it, go read it. Her affairs at the home. I'm telling you, there's so much. And all this I'm learning as I go. Yes, I have to fulfill more of these. Yes, I know there's more. We will never, never reach the limit what we can do for our household, for our family, for others. Get into the scripture, Lord, will show you more what you can do. All of these scriptures, go to the next scripture because I really want to get you to know. We are a chosen generation, X generation. Where are you? Y generation, Z generation. Where are you? The millennium. 
Where are you? Know who you are in your generation. Because don't you know you are chosen generation all over the way. Lift up your voice. Do you know who you are? Shout it out loud. Declare it. Believers, anthems, come. Let's go and let's sing and let's proclaim. Let's decree. Let's declare who we are in Christ. Okay? So right now, if you don't know Jesus, your person said, I want you to get involved in this. I need for you to realize it's simple. And I need to do this in two minutes. I want you to say, Jesus, I come right now. I want to be a part of this royal family. I want you, Jesus, to forgive me of my sin. Say, Jesus, I repent. So I repent of my sin. And I want you to take away my sin. Say, Jesus, come into my heart. Because only you know this deceitful heart, this wicked heart, this heart that God, I themselves can deceive myself. Don't know. Others will deceive me, but me too could deceive me. Help my heart, Lord. Wash my heart. Only you can do it, Jesus. Because the heart is deceitful and wickedly. Clean it. Wash it, Jesus. Help me. Help me, Lord Jesus. Help me. So my thoughts can be right. Help me, Lord. Save me. Sanctify me. Give me the Holy Ghost. Because I'm there, Lord, want to be ready for when you come or take me. I want to be saved. I want you, Jesus, so I can have a part of this royalty. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I want you to know you need to know that be what God say you are. Okay? Who he said you are. Okay? Where he says you at. And I want you to know that you can know who God says you are. You got to get in this word and study his word. Study his word because there's something. This, this is the last piece. Let me read what I found with my family, what I found, who I am. You know, some of the our ancestors and, and, and the records show here um, that um, the records of our Clang and our Fergusons and Ferguson edited in the Aragil and, and the Dun Fallen 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 D and the Robert Ferguson and King Robert and the Bruce. Um, 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 Ferguson and the Duke of Arthol. These are, are my ancestors, the Ferguson. You need to Google up yours. Some of you know the Smith Johnson, whatever your name is, Google up and find out where you are. So when you go to England, you can find out more and learn. It will bring something in your spirit. Okay. Find out your ancestors. See where you are. If you got Irish in you and you got Scot Scottish in you, you are part of this royal family in England. You are part of it. Okay. There have been kings of Scots with the name Ferguson who been conjugate to the English name in Shakespeare. So the Ferguson claim might claim, um, 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 they said distance from several royal forebearers as way back, way back, way back from, from, from Fergus, Fergus, okay? Okay, here it says that the anthole and the stand handle Fergus writes a client's name, okay, client's maiden name, have formed from immemorial claim to be most ancient claim known in the highlights. A claim which the other old clients of the distinct have never disputed. What they're saying here, the universal tradition is that they are distanced from King Fergus, you know, your descendants, your descendants, People, let me tell you, when people know who you, when you know who you are, you got to know that first. And you stand on that. Don't let nobody try to discriminate who you and who God says you are. And once they knew who we are, this is what they're saying here now. And people know who your family are, you know, and who God says you are, and all that combined together, no one could dispute that. Okay? People accept the fact. And you live up to that dignity, you live up to that character, and you live up to who God say you are. No one can dispute it. God is with you, and he will direct you, and he will help you to be who you are. Because it's telling us here, in the last scripture, it's telling us right here. Go to this last scripture. It says royal identity in 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. Your royal identity. Your royal identity. You got to know this. You got to know this. Esther, she knew. She had Esther knew protocol. You know, that's a whole book to study by itself. Esther, she knew a protocol. And no one could have stopped her with that. She knew protocol. Okay, she knew who she was in Christ. And it says here, therefore, she required Christ a new creation. New creation. This is will be um, um, purple. Like, you know, purple. This is the uh, purple. Wear your purple. I will be walking in. You know, you're walking in your royalty. She's clothed in it. 
You could be clothing it too. I think I have one more scripture here to read. My guest is here and he's coming in to set up right now. I just want you to know that you need to do your studying. Do your studying so you know where you at in God. Know what God says you at. God will bless you and he will give you a desire. I think the other one was Luke 1 and 33. You need to find that Luke 1 and 33. Find it and then you will know exactly what God says you are. I want my guests to get all of his time because we are chosen generation. We are royal priesthood. We are called by his name. And you need to know that. You're called by his name. God has given you favor. He's given you power. He's given you the anointing. So know who you are. Know where you're going. You're walking in victory. You're walking in power. You're walking in grace. My guest going to set up now. And then he closing through. If you had missed his first prayer, he's going to give you another prayer to come to know Jesus. Give you another chance. Because the whole thing in this program is to bring you to Jesus. To let you know God loves you. And he cares about you. And he wants you to love him back. You know, when you love somebody, they love you. You love them back. You know, God wants you to love him. And when you love him, read his word. Pray to him. Thank you for joining me and my sister in Freeport, Eleanor. Um. I'm um, Williams, Lady Williams. God bless you. You know, this is this is my last scripture. I'm going to close this. God said, Brother Scott, he's coming. You know, Luke, I'm going to read this. Then I'm going to go and let Brother Scott, and I'm, 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 he's going to bring your stick with him. He's going to turn his Facebook on. And I have another appointment. I have to go to prayer meeting. We have the, 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 the it's, it's for 20 of them, Koreans. God sent them here to have revival in Cleveland, praying in the churches. They're here. I go into that prayer meeting. So I'm just letting you know there's so much going on, and I will. Tag his Facebook to get that. This is Luke 1 and 33. He's going to sit in his chair in a minute. Luke 1 and 33. I think this is what it says. And yeah, you all study that because I may have the wrong, the wrong scripture. That's something with Mary and Jesus. But the main thing is, in my closing, we are chosen generation. We have been called forth to show his excellence. All I require for life, God has given me. All I require of life, God has given you. You just came to Jesus. Okay? God has given you. And I know who I am. We are a chosen generation. We are being called for to show his excellence. Show excellence. Dress excellent. Act excellent. Okay? Preach his word. Teach his word with excellence. Okay? All I require for him. God has given me. And I know who I am. I know who I am. I know who God said I am. I'm walking in victory. I'm walking in power. So shout it out. Declare it. And get your teeth. Like I said, in England, celebrate with the queen. They have a lot of things going on. Celebrate with a get your little tea. Let's have fun. Life is about the Bible. See, so giving us to have abundant life. Let's celebrate with others. Bible so we rejoice when they rejoice. And with sorrow and sympathy go to all y'all who have family that you rejoice. You, 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 you weep in their sorrow. We have to learn to understand how this life goes. When someone is celebrating, celebrate with them. When they're in pain, and when they weep, you weep with them. And you and you in sorrow have empathy and sympathy and all that for other people. Now, Brother Scott, and I'm going to cut off my Facebook right now. See you all later, Facebook. Thanks again. Who going to watch this later? May the Lord bless you and keep you.